so in 1986, this actually had happened before I was born, uh, a nuclear reactor accident occurred in Chernobyl. That was then the Soviet Union. It spread highly toxic radioactive chemicals such as plutonium-239 over hundreds of square miles. The government evacuated the city and the surrounding area. It is still uninhabited to this day. Um, and we're going to find out why it is still uninhabited. So there is the model uh, for the radioactive decay. Uh, 10 times 1 half to the T over 24,100. Uh, that represents the amount of plutonium that remains from an initial amount of 10 pounds, just 10 pounds after T years, where T equals zero represents 1986. Uh, so let's figure out how much of the 10 pounds will remain uh, this year in 2019, and then after 100,000 years. So we are just kind of plugging and chugging here with this uh, first situation. If we plug it into the model, we've got 10 times the base is one half. Uh, in the year 2019, we're not going to plug 2019 into the equation, right? Because T equals zero represents 1986. So we need to figure out how many years since 1986, and it's going to be 33. Yeah, 33 years over the 24,100. Uh, now, be careful when you put this into your calculator. You, first of all, do need parentheses around the one-half. Anytime your base is a fraction, you need to put parentheses around it. And then we've dealt with this sum, but you definitely need parentheses around the exponent because there's more than one number, more than one operation occurring in the exponent. So after 33 years, there is still 9.951 or 9.991 pounds of this radioactive material hanging around in the atmosphere there at Chernobyl. So very, very little of it has left the area. I mean, you're talking about nine thousandths of a pound has actually uh, evaporated or disintegrated or however you want to look at it, decayed. Um, so not a whole lot has changed. How about after 100,000 years? So really, really, really long time. Plugging in 100,000. Let's see here. 10. Times one half to the one hundred thousand divided by twenty four. Okay, so after a hundred thousand, still not gone though, but not much of it's remaining. About half a pound of this plutonium is remaining in that area after a hundred thousand years. Really quick, let's do this last lap part. What is the length of the half-life of 239 plutonium? What does half-life mean from science? What does it mean? Half of it's decayed. Half of it's decayed. How long does it take for half of it to decay? So if we started with 10, oh, no, I don't know why I put the equals right there. If we started with 10, we're talking about the half-life, we're going to have five pounds of it. We're looking for T. So kind of like we did with our interest problems, divide by 10, we get one half is equal to one half to the T over 24,100. If we have the same base, what do we do? Set the exponents equal. We have one half and one half, so we set the exponents equal to each other. So the exponent over here is one. So that means the half life is 24,100 years. It takes 24,100 years for half of that material to decay.